What's up everybody? I'm Nick with Matt from Multirotors and today Aero Probing has sent me a pair of their brand new F3 flight controllers. Now they've been designing these for about six months now and they're supposed to be really fast and great performers. So let's take a look at them and see how they so perform. These two little flight controllers came in these packages just like this. No other cables, no other anything else special. Now I'm going to go ahead and say I noticed a few discrepancies between the two. For one, they weren't completely trimmed. For two, this one, when I out of the package, functioned correctly. As you, as you can see, it has a QA sign off on it. This one did not. Interestingly, this one I had problems with, and this one I did not initially. Um, this one, however, was fixed. It was missing a solder joint right here. All I did was solder that joint, and it started working correctly. Now, that being said, I'm going to look at this thing here. Got a mini USB port. Couple of JST connections. That one's for UR2. This one's for UR1. This one's UR3. And this one is for a breakout cable that did not come with it. So that's going to be interesting. You got a ground. You got your buzzer. You got your VBAT monitoring, which is on the other side. So instead of doing separate pads on the same side, they just did opposites. So buzzer, buzzer. Ground, ground positive, VBAT, VBAT. They didn't put a 5 volt rail in the middle, so it's just ground signal for six motors and then a spot for the voltage in, which does not have a positive or negative. So, yeah, over here, not really labeled, just numbers one, two, whatever, all the way to eight. Same with the back side. But it is an F3 board, it does function. Now, these are running Aero Probing's proprietary form of beta flight. So there's only two versions right now. And actually, I wasn't able to flash either of them because the way they have this set up, it runs through this mini USB port, and the USB VCP they're using doesn't stay open when the board is saved. So every time you update or save or try to flash this thing, it resets. So you're kind of stuck with what they give you out of the package. Um, it does function. It does work. I'm going to stick it on a on a aero probing based quadcopter and hopefully it performs well. There is a manual for this on their website and it does label all these pens and it does a very decent job of showing you what everything does. But essentially these little JST ports are UARTs and this over here is an expansion port for s stuff that we don't use in this in the mini quad racing hobby but you can check it out and it works and it shows you what it is and what to do but it is flashed with a form of beta flight and it it's proprietary open source i guess you can't really flash it with anything else and every time i've tried to flash it it wouldn't work however there are others who are successfully flashing it so i'm gonna get this thing installed and we'll see how okay, it performs. Guys. i've built it i put it on this pegasus frame um i've tested it and I got a few thoughts, but first about the build, it's, it's the Aero Probing F3 board, a couple of Aero Probing 2205, 2700s, and Aero Probing's 20 amp ESCs. Now, the good first, this thing handles pretty amazing. I've got it set on 8 kilohertz refresh, 1 kilohertz update for the PIDs because the ESCs can't handle faster rates, but it handles really well, it performs really well. I didn't have any wobbles, no twitching, nothing crazy. So the board does perform well. That being said, here's the downside for me personally. Number one, the board uses Betaflight, but because of the USB driver that is on it, every time I go to save anything, it disconnects. I've been told that's part of the USB connection because they use a mini USB, they have to use a VCP protocol, and it forces it to reset. Not that big a deal, whatever. The bigger problem for me is I can't flash this board with a new update. It came to me with 2.8.1, and at the time of this video, we are at 3.0, which we all know performs amazing. Now, it did handle well, it did perform, but it's proprietary. You can't upgrade it, you can't update it, you can't do anything. It's going to fall behind quickly. Um, so, it's it's nice now. I mean, we're not that far behind, but give it, give it you know, we know this hobby, it's fast as hell. Give it a month, and it's going to be out of date. Give it two months, and it might be just old. My next problem, I've been told this is because mine was a pre-production version, but I didn't have any cables. It didn't come with any cables, it was just the board. I did have some, but, I mean, it's supposed to come with cables. 
And that being said, my other problem, sort of kind of petty, is that the UARTs don't have pads. They're all plugs. So I'm running a satellite, and I had to run a plug for it. I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm nitpicking here, but in all honesty, I prefer things to just be soldered to the board. Less things to break, less things to fall out. This plug takes nothing to pull out. Um, I don't know what these are supposed to go for price-wise because this is a pre-release review. The board does handle well, it does perform well, but in all honesty, that lack of updating and upgradability, and it, it, it's tough because this thing does perform pretty well. It's, it's just you can't upgrade it, you can't update it, and that's kind of a problem. You're locked out of everything. I did test it with ESC pass-through. That did function. I did crank it all the way up to 8 and 8 rates, or not rates, uh, refresh rates. It could handle it. It was only loading like 40% of the CPU, so it is possible to run a high-speed, high-refresh rate multi-shot setup. I just can't with these ESCs. Um, I mean, it's a great idea. It's a good board. It was a bad execution. You need to open this up so we can update it and upgrade it and do what we want to do. Flash it to clean flight if you want to. I mean, it, it's locked in beta flight 2.8, and I think there's a 2.9, but I wasn't able to get it to flash because it would reset every time. So, good board, works well, will be obsolete very quickly if they don't open up the ability to update it.